hey guys what's up this is manas and this particular problem is going to be the last in this lecture series based on ellipse from conic sections and it goes like this two points a and b are 100 mm apart a point b is 75 mm from a and 60 mm from b draw an ellipse passing through a b and c all right so there are two points a and b which are 100 millimeters apart so let us start by drawing a line let us draw a line initially so this is going to be a 100 mm long line and uh, two points are a and b so this is point b over here all right now there is a third point named c which is 75 mm from a and 60 mm from b so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an arc with a s center and this arc is going to have a length of 75 millimeters somewhere here we, we are going to put an arc 75 so this is a 75 millimeter arc now again now there is uh, the same point lies at a distance of 60 millimeters from b all right 60 millimeters from b so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna take b as the center all right and we are going to put an arc of length 60 millimeters something like this okay so these two arcs are going to meet somewhere here all right guys so this is what you call point c okay so let us write here point c fine now the next thing to do is we have to ensure or we have to draw an ellipse which passes through these three points a c and b and for doing so please watch carefully the method i am illustrating uh try to join a line from point c to the center of line ab all right all right now extend this line in the downward direction also okay so the length which is up is equal to the length which is down if this is point c then let us assume that this point is um, referred to as point d fine next thing to do is to enclose this into a parallelogram so please follow the steps make sure your mini drafters are aligned along this line uh, tighten the screw then move your drafters towards this point a that's exactly how it is supposed to be done all right the next thing to, is to keep your drafters absolutely horizontal along this line a b okay tighten the screw uh, go up ahead towards point c draw a line then go down below towards point d draw a line so this is this is what you call a parallelogram inside which we'll be inscribing an ellipse which is surely gonna pass through a b c and d and for doing so please watch the construction carefully from point a i'm going to divide this line into three equal parts all right and if i want to divide this into three equal parts i need to make a line over here something like this at any suitable angle randomly okay then I need to make points over here at, which are separated by a distance of 10 millimeters. Okay, that's exactly what I was talking about. So this is going to be my arc, a 10 mm arc. So this is only one point. So this is going to be the second point and that's the third point. Oh, it's, it's, it's somewhere here. Exactly. Now I'll be dividing this line. Um, let us say that this point over here is represented by O and uh, this third point has to be joined with the end of this line AO okay now keep your drafters along this line tighten the screw move towards the second point so this is the second point then towards the first point I'm going to chop this off the extra material extra line um, something like this that's it guys now the next thing to do is we are going to divide this line into again three equal parts all right for doing so we need to draw a line again at any suitable angle right then again we need to put an arc a 10 mm arc or a one centimeter arc whatever you may like to call it that's it i'm going to i'm going to reduce the length of this arc all right so this is uh, one arc i need to make three parts uh, that's why three arcs are required or three points are required equally spaced then this third arc or the third point has to be joined with the end of this line make sure your drafters are absolutely 
uh, aligned along this line move it to the second point draw a line then towards the first point draw a line then you need to chop this off all right Uh, represents point one and this over here represents point two so let us write it as one and let us write here point two here I'm going to write this as one dash and here it's going to be two dash two dash all right now let us join one and two with this point C one and two with the point C done next thing to do is to join d with one dash and with two dash all right now this line which you're seeing d one dash line we're going to extend this line towards this line over here all right and it's going to look something like this please watch this carefully the next thing to do is to extend this line d two dash towards this c two line all right and on extending it should look something like this all right so these are the two points point p1 and point p2 so let us say that this is point p1 p1 over here and this over here is what you call point p2 the next thing to do is to mirror these points down below and towards the right and for doing so please watch this carefully i'm going to draw horizontal lines from here these are the horizontal lines okay one more horizontal line starting from p1 okay that's it the next thing to do is to you need to take an arc from this point to this point then with this point as center you need to put an arc over here that's it that's exactly what i was talking about so if this is if it's, if we say that this is point uh, p2 and th this then this has got to be point p2 dash now the next thing to do is to have a mirror image of this particular point p1 over here that is going to be p1 dash and for doing so let us take an arc from this point to this point okay from here to here all right that's it guys so this is the reflection of p1 over here and we're going to call this by let us say p um p p1 dash all right now the same stuff has to be repeated in this particular quarter of the ellipse also and here also and for doing that we need to bring lines absolutely parallel to this line okay lines drawn from this point and lines drawn from this point and make sure that the lines which you are going to draw um, are going to be parallel to this line over here okay so let's do this and it should look something like this please watch this carefully something like this all right um i'm going to extend these lines downwards until they meet it somewhere here fine <clears throat> next thing to do is you need to take an arc from this point to this point but then with this particular point as the center you need to put an arc over here the same thing has to be repeated for this uh point p2's reflection also which is going to be come somewhere around here i'm going to show you how that's it that's the arc that's the uh, that's the reflection if this is p1 this has got to be p1 double dash um the same stuff for this particular point also okay guys and now you've seen this um so what i'm going to do is the same stuff can be repeated here also so i'm not going to do it again so i'll be clipping this all right and the next thing to do is to clip this one also now so this point will come over here all right and this guy will come here now we're going to join all these points with the help of a smooth curve and that smooth curve in fact is an ellipse all right so let us do this quickly so that's it so that's it guys that's our curve uh, the popular curve which we all know by the name of ellipse all right fine so guys that was all from my side and if you have any questions or queries you can 
write them in the comment section below and see you again thank you for watching the video and if you like it don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you bye bye good night